Welcome to ECG in 60 seconds. This is an ECG of a 20-year-old male with a structurally normal heart and broad complex tachycardia. There is atrial ventricular dissociation seen in the inferior leads with retrograde P waves following some QRS. The QRS is relatively broad at about 120 milliseconds with relatively rapid initial deflection and short RS intervals. There is superior axis deviation leading to a dominant R wave in lead AVR. A deep S wave is seen in V6 and is a feature supporting VT in the setting of a right bundle branch block like QRS morphology. Overall, this is consistent with fascicular ventricular tachycardia and it was responsive to intravenous rapamil. Post VT termination, we observe T wave inversions in multiple leads. Notably, in the inferior lateral leads, they are denoted by the blue and purple boxes. In these leads, we see a negative QRS vector during tachycardia. Upon sinus rhythm restoration, the QRS vector has reversed and is upright, but the T waves still follow the QRS vector during prior tachycardia. This is consistent with T wave memory. Memory T waves are T wave changes that develop after a period of abnormal ventricular activation, such as transient left bundle branch block, ventricular pacing, ventricular tachycardia, and pre excitation. The T wave remembers and mirrors the direction of the white QRS complexes, and this is seen when normal ventricular activation is restored. They can persist for weeks. Recognition of cardiac memory as a cause for T wave inversions is important to avoid unnecessary investigations. And indeed, at three months follow up, in the ECG below, we see that the T wave inversions have resolved. Thank you.